Look at me looking like a private investigator in a subdivision with a zoom camera. First thing in the morning, today on Tape Measure Pencil Knife, we're gonna do some baseboard. A little baseboarding. We're going baseboarding. That's pretty funny, baseboarding. The thought of baseboarding as like a, an extreme sport. Baseboard is pretty boring. You just measure the wall, you write down the measurements, you cut that measurement on a piece of baseboard, you take that piece of baseboard to the wall that you measured, and you set the baseboard on some little blocks, depending on the type of flooring. I like to just use baseboard underneath the baseboard because um, 3 8 hardwood goes right under it and then the shoe mold or quarter round later. I do have some tricks, tips and tricks. Some of these tricks may not be tricks to you, but someone's gonna go, wow, I wish I'd known about that sooner. And if you have tricks that you could tell me, just tell me, please, please tell me. If there's a better way to do something, and I've been doing it wrong for 17 years, just tell me. Tell me now. I'd rather learn the new way than do another 17 years of wrong. I was just thinking about that. That, uh. So I saw a coffee truck. It was like a fuel truck. You know what an 18 wheeler tractor trailer fuel truck. One of the big, a big rig truck. A big rig truck pulling like a fuel tank. A fuel tanker but instead of gas it had like a coffee wrap my first thought was yes that's how much coffee I need that's like a meme you want a coffee what size that size then I thought that's pretty cool because that's a an, a fuel truck but maybe it's instead of fuel for cars it's fuel for humans that's what coffee is. Energy based. Okay. Here we go. Baseboard day. Let's go baseboarding.
first trick. The first trick of baseboarding. This is for measuring bullnose corners. This from here, from the bullnose to here, and from the bullnose to here, it's exactly two inches. So this is two and this is two. And the bullnose is nine sixteenths plus or five eighths, something like that. They can vary a little bit, but with with a jig like this, you can make them make all those corners look perfect. So you put this on the sheetrock corner and you mark it here and you mark it here. And then when you measure, you measure to that line and add two inches. And then that's your measurement. Let me show you an example of how to use one of these. I'm gonna do a corner out here in the garage right there. This is really just a little helper. Let me just show you. Here we go. Twenty-four and a half. Nope, twenty-six and a half. But without that mark there, it's hard to measure out here when it's just floating. You'd just be eyeballing it. That does not mean greater than. Out here, that means forty-five degrees. Forty-five degrees, twenty-six and a half. Outside, twenty-two. That's what that is. Twenty-two point five degrees. That's how you cut a bull nose. So then, bull nose, and then sixteen and a half, and it's square. Square. There's our four pieces. One, two, three, four. People, people often ask, hey, Jared, why'd you make it backwards? Wouldn't you make it, why would you make it like this instead of having this on the outside like it's gonna be on the wall? The answer, see this is, this is all smooth for marking and this is rough. See those different? I don't know if you can tell there's different it's not smooth on the back. I think that's for stacking or some kind of machine grabs them like that. Slides them out of the way or holds them in place while they make this route, this baseboard detail. I don't know what the back's for. Your guess is as good as mine. Probably not as good, but close to as good as mine. Okay, that was trick number one. For my next trick, it's yet again, another measuring trick. And I'm sure I've showed you this before, but on a wall that's too long for your arms to stretch out and you're holding the tape measure this way and you're trying to stretch it this way and figure out which way to go, just measure to 100 inches and make a mark. Then flip your tape the other way and measure from that wall to your 100 inch mark 
and do the math. It's just so obvious to me that it feels like I'm patronizing you. Oh, you didn't know about this, did you? It's just, I feel, I feel mean for making this one of the tips. But some people need to know, this is a good tip. This really helped me out when I figured it out. 17 years ago or however long when I started this. Let me show you a couple, couple quick examples while measuring. And now that we got our little jig, we can measure the entire house. That's normally how I do it. Measure every piece of baseboard, write every single piece down with my 45 degree marks and my outside 22 degree marks and my inside 22 degree marks. That's just an N. That means inside 22. Now I'm just rambling again. So here we go, let's measure, let's measure this house. Yes.
and forgot to record it. I'm not doing good today. Not doing very good today. Okay, let's get these two. I know I only did two rooms, two, two little bedrooms of baseboard, but that's enough. That's a, you get the point. I don't have to do the whole house on camera, right? I will show you a couple more things. Some of those outside um, bull noses where it's like one, two, three, four, five, five pieces and you slide it on. Ooh, satisfying. It's so satisfying. But those are the two most important tricks or tips or techniques for baseboard. They're, they're really just measuring techniques. That'll help you measure once, cut once, instead of that old measure twice, cut once stuff. That's an old wives tale, I'm pretty sure. Okay. That's it for this particular edition of Tape Measure, Pencil, Knife, Baseboard stuff. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, don't forget the most important thing about baseboard. But I don't know what you're saying. I don't know, don't know what you're saying. Someone in the comments was asking to see some of the some of the trim we do, built-ins and, and such. The one I did baseboard in in this video is this same floor plan and it gets all the same stuff. So the baseboard will all be the same, the coffered ceiling, the closet shelving, the pantry shelving. Let's just take a little tour, show off some of the finished work. Almost finished. Still got some blue tape, but that's just little touch-up spots that the painter has to hit. Okay, a little tour of one of the finished houses. Let's go.